Hey everybody, Mike Shreve here. Just uh, starting up the Facebook Lives again. Uh, we're going to be doing that a lot more in 2019. And uh, today's little bit of piece of content I want to share with you all is a challenge. Um, it's a challenge that if you decide to do it, if you decide to take part in it, it's not, it doesn't cost nothing. Uh, and frankly, it's way easier than probably most people are ready to accept. But if you do uh, follow this challenge, if you do uh, exactly as I lay out in this video, I can practically guarantee, obviously your mileage may vary, but every single time I do this, my profit, not just revenue in my business, my profit at least doubles. So I wanna share with you a very, very quick strategy for, uh, it's something that you can do every 90 days and every 90 days it's going to increase the results of whatever it is that you're trying to do. And we're talking about, again, we're talking about profit, not revenue. Now why this process works is because so often when we're trying to start a business, what we see before us, and especially if we're growing in skill. So if we're growing in skill, what often happens is that we learn of new opportunities, we learn new skills, we learn new things. And because of that, it can be very difficult to remain efficient. And the more efficient you are as a service provider, the more profit you are able to generate. So for example, if you take five hours to write a blog post in which you get paid $100, you're only really making $20 an hour. However, if you increase efficiency, nothing else changes, just efficiency, meaning it no longer takes you five hours, but it now takes you two hours to write that same quality, same, et cetera, et cetera, and you still are only making $100, which is a little bit low in my opinion. But let's say you're still only getting paid $100 for a blog post, you increase the efficiency, you're now making $50 an hour instead of $20 an hour. The only thing that changed is your, is something that fortunately you can control, which is how efficient are you at working. So the reason this little 90 day challenge works is because it has an emphasis on efficiency above all other things. Okay, so here it is. If you can do the these it's like three simple things over the next 90 days, I can promise you, if not doubling profits, uh, a wild increase. So the first thing that you wanna do Take out a piece of paper. I like um, I like the legal pads, yellow legal pads. Sit down and list everything that you are doing for your business. There's a couple ways that you can do this. First, you can literally just sit down and list it out. Like uh, you sort of take like a general approach. So generally, you know, my day starts out this way and I do this, and I spend time on this, and I spend time on that. That is a way you can do it. Or if you wanna be ultra efficient and really get the most out of this challenge, take three to seven days and literally write down from nine to 9.15, I watched YouTube videos. From 9.15 to 10.45, I stared out the window and was wondering how the heck I'm gonna get this done. From, you know, like actually write it down. Then what you want to do is after you've taken stock of everything that you've done, and I know this sounds simple, and the, the crazy thing is, is that because it's so simple, a lot of people don't do it, even though it's literally, if you just do it, you'll actually get the benefit of doing it. Um, once you have that list of everything that you do, the next thing that you want to do is you want to source of the things that you've done, and when I mean source, I mean connect the dots of, oh, when I do this, this is what actually brings the money. When I do this, this doesn't really contribute at all to the growth of my business. It doesn't contribute to uh, uh, closing clients. It doesn't contribute to getting client work done. It doesn't contribute to anything important that leads to more profit in my business, right? And we can have a whole 90 minute training on that single sentence, but it's important for you to then analyze what you do in your day, because often what happens is we confuse efficiency for productivity, or even worse, productivity 
for being busy. So we do all these things, we do all these things, and we do all these things, and when all this stuff's going on, and we think, yeah, I'm growing my business, when really we're just kind of circling the drain instead of making that sort of beeline to whatever goal it is that we want. Once you figure out what actually is leading to your profit in your business, whatever that is, it's then time to eliminate everything else that you're doing that you maybe thought was bringing in the money, but it actually isn't, okay? And again, I realize that this is probably so elementary to many of you, and yet so few of you have actually sat down to do it, to actually put in the work, to sit down and say, okay, what did I do today? Well, I took this activity, I sent, you know, I checked this Facebook group, I went over here and did that thing, I, wa I, I read this blog post, and then to actually sit down and say, did any of that actually lead me to getting a client? So for example, in our Fast Client Getting Workshop class, uh, you know, we see students who do the best are the students who say, who realize all I need to do is collect some email addresses, send some emails, or collect some LinkedIn connections, send some LinkedIn messages, and that's it. Everything other than those very basic things is not a contribution to me getting a client. So this is the 90 day challenge that you continually list, source, and eliminate everything that isn't contributing to your profit as a freelancer. And if you do that, a couple of things will happen. One of the thing, one of the big questions I always get is there's, you know, there's a lot of doubt and skepticism about my schedule in terms of how I'm able to balance three income streams. Uh, you guys saw the income uh, report or whatever that we did earlier this year. And a lot of people have said, there's no way he's doing that without working 100 hours a week. Well, actually, I am. I work significantly less than most people because I continue to list, source, and eliminate. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be eliminated in 2019 from the No Pants Project. And, you know, if you, if you are not uh, experienced in business and you've never run your own business, you could look at that and be like, oh man, I think they're, I think they must be having a hard time or, oh gosh, you know, maybe they're not, uh, maybe they're not doing what they say they're doing or it's the elimination that allows growth. It's like a plant who needs sun that's all tangled up in other plants. Well, if you want that plant to grow, what do you do? You untangle it. You cut away all of the stuff that's keeping it down. Many of you would benefit from listing, sourcing, and going on a massive elimination spree, closing down shiny objects, turning ideas off. Maybe this thing over here is making you a little bit of money, but when you list it and you see, gosh, it's, it's taking up a lot more of my time than this other thing, which makes me a lot more money or brings me a lot more satisfaction or allows me a lot more of the freedom or the choice or the projects that I want, whatever your motivating factor for doing this process is, if you don't actually sit down and think this thing through, you're going to be like most people and most people just kind of wake up and then let life happen to them. And then they just kind of react. And then by the end of the day, after they're done kind of dodging and weaving and reacting and over here, by the end of the day, it's nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, four o'clock in the morning, whatever time you go to bed. And you're like, where did the day go? And get anything done. It's about listing, sourcing, and eliminating. And I promise that if you do that over the next 90 days, uh, your profits will more than double. It doesn't really matter what it is you do during the day, as long as you can account for why you are doing it. Um, if you want to change whatever station you're in now, nine out of 10 people that I meet, well, that's not even true, it's like 10 out of 10 people that I meet, most people are in a situation right now where it was the absence of having a good reason for exactly what it is that they're doing that is keeping them 
where they're at. So that's my recommendation for you. Hopefully this is helpful. We're going to do a lot more content like this, short form, very tactical, nothing for sale in this. Hopefully it helps you do it. I promise you, I promise if you do it, you will see tremendous, tremendous results. I'm going through it right now, which is why I'm sharing that with you. Uh, let's see if I can pull mine up here. Take a look at what I'm uh, doing. So for example, uh, one of the first questions I ask myself is what do I spend a bunch of time on in my business right now that I probably shouldn't be? And I, I have this whole list. There's things within the no pants project. There's things within my freelancing business. There's things within my fiction business that I'm doing because I mistakenly thought I was supposed to do them. But then when I list them out and really have to defend to my own self to defend why I'm spending time doing those things, I realize, oh my gosh, it'd just be easier if I got rid of it. And you don't have to, when you eliminate something, you then don't have to come back and do like replace it with stuff. Just simple elimination will improve your efficiency. And that goes all the way from the creative process to your business and, and to your life uh, in a lot of ways. All right, my dear friend, so hopefully that is uh, helpful to you. Hey there, Chad, how's it going? <laughs> I haven't chatted with you in a long time. How are things doing? Um, um, Megan, Miriam, hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, it, this is the process that we are using. Um, as I promised, 2019, we're going to be talking a lot about efficiency and systems and processes and scaling things to high seven, eight figures. Uh, it's this basic process that's going to allow us to uh, serve more, serve better, and uh, ultimately grow our businesses, which is what we're all here for. So hopefully it's helpful, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.